Hello folks, welcome. So now in this tutorial, let's take a closer look at this XML. So as you can see that now these, this particular text view I've added and I've just copied another one back here in the next one and I've changed the text here. So this, if you look at this, hello guys, if I change it to hello, how are you? It's going to go ahead and reflect it in this one. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and change it here. And similarly, this text belongs to this and I've changed the background color. So now in XML, it's basically if you don't put a valid XML syntax, then it's going to be invalid and then you won't see anything on the screen. For each of the tags in an XML has an opening and as a as a closing tag. So now this is a single uh, this is called as a self closing tag because you don't you just need you have opened the tag here. It can be a text view, it can be an image view, or it can be button. Since we're having text, so we put it as a text view. This is the opening tag and this is a self closing tag. Basically, we have a angular, um, we have a forward slash and an angular bracket to close this tag. Similarly, and this is also a kind of a self closing tag where we have opened the tag with an angular braces and then we have the name of our view and then we have a forward um, slash and then we have a closing tag. So this is why we write those tags. So every tag needs to be closed in XML. Now similarly if you can take a look at this linear layout this is the opening tag here. This is we're going to talk about what linear layout is and this is the opening tag here and these are a bunch of attributes. Now there are different kinds of attributes that are there but we, we don't we I have not listed all of these attributes because each of those attributes get a default values. Now if you don't want the default value and you want your own value for those attributes then you can go ahead and define an attribute here. Each attribute has a name. So this is the name of the attribute and each attribute has a value. So this is called 150 dp. This is called as the density independent pixels. We'll talk about what is that in a minute. And these are the different attribute name and these are the, the, and the, the values in the double quotes. So this is how you write an XML. Now similarly, this is not a self-closing tag. This is this is a tag which contains two, this is a parent tag, the linear layout, and it has two different tags in it. We can figure out because this has a closing tag here. So a closing tag is basically, it's nothing but it's a forward slash and then the name of the tag that you want to close. So this is the whole, this is the opening tag for the linear layout. And this particular tag has two uh, children's, which is two text views in it. We can call it as children. So this is a parent and this has two children's. And then here is the tag that is getting closed. So this is about the XML. So if you have to make it an XML single is a syntax in the right way because otherwise if an XML is invalid then you won't be able to see your changes here. So if let's say if I change anything on the background here and this and that there's nothing like that it's not going to understand what it is. So I have to make sure that I pick up the right attribute name and then you're going to make you're going to see the changes here.